I first heard about the giant cougar tail project last year. They were going to attempt it in conjunction with the food drive or something at one of the ball games, but then they kind of put that on hold, and so I knew it was going to come up this year. I was kind of stunned, thinking, okay, I can't quite picture this in my mind, how we could make a cougar tail that's that big. But then the more we talked about it, the more it seems realistic and exciting. Those that know about the cougar tail will want to participate. Uh, one, because of the good cause. Two, because it's a great, a great donut. I think they're going to get excited because they're going to go, I want to participate in this. And I think they're going to be excited to see how big we can make it. We're going for a quarter of a mile of a cougar tail. Uh, we could have done maybe 10 feet and still had that world record, but it sounds really good. If it would have been me, I, I think I would have started out a little smaller for a wor world's record, but uh, we'll go with what ordered and uh, I think it's going to be about a thousand cougar tails. It's something that I've never heard of before. It's like I said it's really interesting but I think you know it's, it's gonna be really cool to see. It might be something that you only see once in a lifetime so hopefully they jump on the activity and, and they get the the opportunity to go and buy some of these donuts too and help, help out this charity. The students are coming back from having a nice warm dinner with their families you know the comforts of home and everything. The funds that are uh, proceeds from the sale of these cougar tails is going to go to some people that maybe didn't have Thanksgiving dinner, you know, didn't get home with their families. So, can't beat this cause, and I support it 100%.